What's up guys, it's Togui and welcome back to more Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. In the last part, we finished up the third dungeon, and we beat Queen Bean, and we're now fugitives because we beat up the Queen, basically. Uh, no, not really. Uh, we found out that the way she, the reason that she is the way she is is because she ingested a belly black worm, and we need to go get some Chocola Reserve to fix her up. Mario, Luigi! Lady Llama has asked that you also take this along with you. You got a bean badge! This is the introduction of badges. That thing is a badge. If you equip it, you'll be a little stronger in battle. Different badges have different effects, so for now, if you get a badge, make sure you equip it. To equip it, press select to open your suitcase. To equip badges, select this icon. Here you can see the gear and the badge you're equipped with. Okay, Mario, time to equip the badge I just gave you. Select this icon. This is where all the badges you have are shown. Normally you'd pick a badge. It's simple this time since you only have one right now. Press A and you'll equip the badge. Now you're all set. Good luck and be careful. Oh, uh, sorry Luigi, but if you want your own badge, you'll have to go buy one at the store. Luigi is sitting there poking the air. Come on, Luigi. It's not so bad. We'll go buy you a better badge, right? Right. Uh, let's see. Do they sell badges yet? Uh, yes, they do. The store is now uh, switched up. Let's see. Is there anything new we can buy here? No. Uh, we still have those three refreshing herbs, but those will be useful. We're coming up on an area where there will be poison. As you saw, that badge raised POW and BP, so that the, that's how you- that's basically this game's equivalent of weapons. The only ones who still worry about fashion despite the town's crisis are real celebrities. I have to set prices that won't discredit this place as a high-class boutique, so uh, what do you want to do? Uh, so now you can buy gear and badges, and welcome to basically the only shop in the game. Hooray. They're actually... There is another one, I think. I think there is one more shop, but this is the main one. So you see there is some red gear, green gear, and red and green gear. So red gear is Mario only, green is Luigi only, red and green is equipable by either. So if we look uh, for Mario, bean pants and bean trousers are available. Uh, bean pants will give him eight more defense, uh, whereas uh, the work pants will only give six defense, but also give four HP. So it's a question of which of those uh, would you rather have two defense or four HP? And uh, I'm thinking I want to go with the HP for Mario, so we're going to buy that. Uh, we'll equip it to Mario. Uh, and then for Luigi, if you press R, you can see for him, the bean trousers give four HP and five defense, whereas blue jeans will give uh, five HP and 11 defense. So, I mean, up from what he's at now. So we're definitely going to get him the blue jeans. Uh, wear it on Luigi. And let's back out. Uh, and let me just quickly go... Oh, I should have read what he said there. He, she... I have no clue. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so now we can sell the original gear. We have the work pants we don't need and work jeans we don't need. Uh, that only gives us 30 coins. So now let's check out the badges. We have the castle badge, which for Mario will lower his BP by 6 but raise power by 2. Definitely not worth it. And the P-Badge, which will lower BP by 4 and raise pound by 4. Again, I don't think that's worth it because we already have 44 power uh, and BP we don't have that much. Uh, and then if I switch over to Luigi, the Castle Badge will raise POW by 11. And the P-Badge will raise POW by 12. Uh, not by 11, by 10, sorry. P-Badge raises POW by 12 and BP by 2. So definitely worth picking that up. I'm going to put that on the Ouija, considering he doesn't have a badge. And uh, so this is what he says. Going shopping in the midst of a major crisis like this, you're so wonderful. And then when you sell things and back out, if you like selling stuff, then you should really try buying something. Shopping rules. Uh, if I won't charge you to look, not that there's much to see. That's for sure. I mean, look at this place. So now if we come into our equipment, you see we now have uh, Mario with his stats raised and Luigi with his stats raised. Uh, the bean badge is plus 6 BP plus uh, 8 power, 
whereas the P badge is plus 2 BP but plus 12 power. So it's really a matter of who needs more BP versus, because you can switch this badge to Luigi. Badges are not character specific, so you could put this bean badge that you're given in the tutorial on Luigi, but I think um, Mario is in more need of the BP and Luigi's in more need of the power, so I'm going to stick with the uh, badges the way that they're set up now. And that's really all there is to do in the town for now. Ah. So I had the hiccups, so now we're back in the Bean Bean outskirts. And we're gonna... Great, I was gonna try to skip this because... We've already fought all these enemies, but you see now Mario doing 13 there. And here's the first example. Uh, Luigi was had fallen there. He was ha he had the trip status effect, and he was slower than the Sharpay, and decided to attack him. So his uh, action icon was grayed out, and he just was forced to take damage there. Uh, anyway, so now we'll head down across this bridge, and we have new enemies. These are uh, Parabinis, I believe. Yeah. Of course, following the classic uh, Mario naming conventions, their attack is the. Well, I'll try to see if I can get that. Uh, no, I can't. Doing lots of damage, as you see now with regular attacks. Uh, once you hit them, once they fall to the ground, and I believe they their speed goes down because on the ground, I didn't actually check it there, but I believe they're just completely classified as beanies and not pair beanies that have fallen. Only Sharpays in this battle, this should be easy, as you see doing- These guys have defense, but still doing over 10 damage. I don't know how Luigi's doing 16, and Mario's only doing 11, when Mario's typically stronger than Luigi. Anyway, Chateau to Chucklehuck to the left, Bean Bean International Airport to the right. Here we have another- oops, here we have another Power Beanie. Uh, these guys often will end up hitting you in the back. So let's see, if you hit them once, no matter how much damage you do- oh, and of course I failed to dodge both their attacks. I was expecting it to be Luigi's turn. Yes, they are just regular beanies, so I believe their defense and speed goes down. Uh, I want to see this other guy's attack, so I'm going to use a hammer, which you see will miss on flying enemies. So they can do that, uh, where they basically walk over, fall to the ground, and ram you. Uh, and counterattacks and first strikes do not count as attacks that will... Uh, cause them to lose their wings. So that's how you counterattack the other attack. Um, they just basically fly towards you and then try to dive bomb you, but it's really not that fast. Uh, here's a weird statue thing that has actually no importance to the game at all. Uh, we could head off to the right towards the airport. There's a swarm here that I failed to jump on. Uh, and we have another battle background for this area. Ooh, nice, lucky 30. Now the Sharpay, you do have to wait a bit for them to crawl towards you, unlike with the Spinies where if they're doing the close attack, you can just attack right away. So you do have to adjust to fighting these enemies. And there's not really much to this place. If you come down here, Bean Bean International Airport, down, but there's nowhere to go from here. And if we head over here, we've got, we do have some Parabinis to fight. Uh, I'm thinking in this episode, most of what is going to happen is just going around the Bean Bean outskirts and exploring, and I think in the next episode we'll be heading off to uh, Chucklehuck Woods. Just because there is a lot to explore in this uh, world, the uh, Bean Bean outskirts is really like the main hub area of the game, I would say. Uh, if we look at the map, it's clear like every other part of the game connects to this area. Oops, didn't mean to hammer attack there, but it's no matter. Still took it out in one shot. It seems actually that Mario may have higher jump damage and Luigi may have higher hammer damage, although that could just be my imagination considering I'm not really paying attention to the numbers right now. Anyway, we can't break that gray purple rock. Studio of Harhall, the fashion genius. Uh, another one of these weird boo statues that disappears when we look at it. Uh, so we can't go down really, there's no way to go down. Uh, here we've got more enemies. So let's see, Mario's jump does 15, and I have no clue what Luigi's jump does because everything here just dies right away because I've been fighting every single enemy and these guys are weak enemies that are from before the uh, sewer dungeon. So let's see, I don't even remember how much Mario did with his jump now. 
So that's great. Whatever. To be fair, it doesn't really matter. Here we have a gate and an exclamation point block. Let's hit it. Does that lower the gate? Yes, it does. Awesome. So this is just you have to hit this block over here before you can go that way. Uh, and we can't do that. So that's weird because we've never come from the other side, yet they put this here. So it's just you have to have explored to unlock this shortcut. Otherwise, once you come here from the other side, you'd have to go the long way around. Alright, let's see. Can Luigi did third... Alright, it seems they're both doing 13 damage on that, and I failed that counterattack. But really, that was not that bad. Getting lots of Woo Beans, which is good, because we are going to need a ton of Woo Beans, I believe. There are other types of beans. I believe Woo Beans is the one that you need the most of. And I failed. And Luigi needs to heal. Getting lots of Woo Beans, that's very good. Alright, let me check. Uh, items, mushrooms, heal up Luigi, Mario's okay. We're actually gonna need 70 Woo Beans to complete- well, you don't need them to complete the game, they're optional, but to complete everything that you need Woo Beans for, you need a total of 70. So, no, no, NO! An edict from Queen Bean of Bean Me Castle prohibits all entry to Woohoo University. Uh, they all say the same thing. Didn't mean to talk to you again. So basically the queen said no one can go to college. Cool. Whatever uh, Heading over here got more swarms to fight and uh, Once I've taken out. I mean, I'm probably not gonna show all these fights I just haven't really had a reason to cut any out yet considering I've been in the middle of a sentence when going into them But since I'm taking all these fights out now later on when we come through the bean bean outskirts we won't have to deal with them at all. So, and there's two swarms here, I'll probably cut these out. Okay, went ahead and took those guys out. We can high jump up here and see what's over this way. And it's a fence. Alright. Cool. Uh, let's see, anything over here? No, this is really just an empty area. Let's see, what's this say? Bean Bean Castle Town up, Woohoo University down. So I believe uh, we can head over to the right here. And we do not want to be here. Those enemies are way too strong for us to face off of. Those are those are enemies that will kill us in one hit probably up here. Let's see. Oh god, oh god, oh god. We do not want to go up here either. So I think that'll be the extent of our exploration in this direction for now, considering there are really tough enemies. Uh, the enemies to the right will most likely kill us. The enemies up, maybe we could survive against, but there's nothing we can even do on those screens yet. So it's really not worth the time. Alright, heading back. Uh, we can't go that way. We need to high jump up here. So really, all we've done so far is just exploring in the completely incorrect direction. But now we're back on the correct screen. If we head down here... Here we have a war pipe. Here's another one. This is number four. See Castle Area South. There are three uh, pipes in the Bean Bean Field. However, this is the only one that is uh, easy enough to access right now. They don't go really in order, although they kind of do. Uh, anyway, we can head right back to Stardust Fields if we wanted to go play the Border Jump game again, which we will, but not right now. Just because I'd like to continue exploring the castle outskirts. Uh, let's see, we have more enemies that I would rather not fight on screen. Let's see, anything else around here? More enemies. Lots and lots of enemies in this area. Let's see, if we head over to this screen, is there anything new? I don't think so. Alright, uh, Chateau de Chuckle Huck, home of Chocola Cola, to the north. We have more Parabinis. Alright, so I'm going to take these guys out real quick. Alright, so in the last of those battles, Luigi actually leveled up to level 12. And I'm going to raise his speed, because in all of those battles, Luigi was pretty slow, and I see 4s, and I got a 2. Dang it! 4 really would have been nice, considering, uh, if we go and check out the bro's stats, 
Uh, HP and defense are raised by the armor, and BP and POW is raised by the badges. But there's uh, there aren't really uh, there's not really gear that raises speed and stash like that. Uh, there will be things we will uh, come into contact with later on. Luigi is actually a higher level than Mario at this point, even though them being in all the same battles, which is interesting. Uh, and just because, like, earlier on in the game, Mario would level up before Luigi even, uh, like, Mario would level Come on. What I was trying to say is Mario would level up, but Luigi wouldn't from a battle, even though they had the same total experience. So as you can see, for sure, it's not like it's just that Mario always levels up before Luigi. The amount of experience they need to level up is different uh, for each level. So here we go. Travel here is permitted only for select individuals in order to guard the Chucklehuck Woods ecology. Oh, the Bean Bean Brooch, the mark of special guests of Bean Bean Castle. Very well then, we shall permit you to enter these woods. And they just lower the gate with their mind powers. We hope you will enjoy a taste of the incredibly full flavor Chocola Cola while you are here. So what's the difference between Chocola Cola and Chocola Reserve? We'll find out. Uh, so adding on, we're still in Bean Bean Fields. More enemies! Alright, that battle was pretty easy. Heading along, we have... More enemies, we can... Oh, we can just regularly jump up here. The angle looked weird, but I realized the color of the grass was the same as here. The color of the grass uh, lets you see uh, height and altitude, so you can see if you need a regular jump or high jump up. Uh, more enemies. And up here, we have some weird house, which we will enter in the next part. So in between episodes, I will go fight those uh, three sharp hay that I skipped. And next time, we'll see what's inside the house. See you guys then. Peace.